a few years from now, right? We will surprise the world with what India and Indians can achieve in the intelligence yeah. market. Thank you. That's Mukesh Ambani, the richest man in Asia who's now throwing himself into the humanoid robotics fray. Ambani is backing the venture through Reliance Industries, the largest company in India. Reliance owns 54% of Adverb Technologies, the leading Indian robotics firm that plans to produce 100 initial humanoids by 2025. The push for humanoids comes as Reliance, led by Ambani, aims to make India a leader in the intelligence age. Adverb is joining a growing array of Indian robotics companies developing humanoids, like iHub Robotics, whose semi-humanoid Tara just shared a TED Talk stage with Isha Farha Qureshi, a renowned tech entrepreneur. Okay. If you can beat them, join them. I know what's running in your mind. You may be thinking, beat who? Join who? Isn't it? I'm going to answer all your questions. Oh my God. Aisha, what are you doing here? This is my TEDx finish. This is my limelight. I don't want you to stay in my limelight, okay? No, no, that's not gonna happen. Hey, it's sure. I'm not stealing your limelight. I'm here to support you. I want to say hi to everybody at TEDx and wanted to wish you good luck. Right, thank you very much for supporting me. I love you so much. <laughs> Reliance recently announced a partnership with NVIDIA to establish AI infrastructure in India. They're kickstarting the initiative using Reliance's established resources. Geo, Reliance's telecom giant, offers the cheapest data in the world. We, as a single company, didn't know anything about this domain, right? But today, we are the largest data company in the world, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. Our volumes are equivalent to AT and TT, Mobile, and Verizon combined. Yeah. So, the affordable connectivity has laid the groundwork for Reliance to integrate advanced artificial intelligence and robotics into everyday life. Ambani says he wants AI tools to work seamlessly on existing phones and computers to lower barriers for entry. Adverb chief executive Sanjeev Kumar told Bloomberg the humanoids will perform tasks across industries like fashion, retail, energy, defense, and space research. These robots will understand human beings in terms of the instructions which are given. And for the first time, even if those instructions are being given for the first time, they will be reconstruct or construct those instructions into subtasks and do that uh, because they have been trained on substantial number of uh, data or access. Reliance is closely linked to the effort, offering financial backing, technical support, and vast industry connections. I said Adverb is, is backed by Muka Shambani of Reliance Group. He's also, of course, known as, as Asia's richest man. How close is he personally to this effort? So the Reliance is our largest consumer of robots and also we are leveraging the skills which are there or technologies which already exist in geo uh, in terms of perception, in terms of uh, uh, the stack uh, which has been built for some other application, the 5G, etc. Reliance bought Adverb in 2022 for $132 million to expand automation and robotics innovation. Founded in 2016, Adverb began with mobile robots and gradually expanded to industrial and medical applications. Adverb employs nearly 1,000 people globally. It has a research center in Silicon Valley focused on advanced robotics. Its offerings include Dynamo, an autonomous mobile robot equipped with LiDAR sensors for transporting materials within warehouses and factories. Multipro, a shuttle-based automated storage and retrieval system for multi-deep pallet storage. Zippy, an ultra-fast sorting robot for logistics and distribution centers. Synchro, a collaborative robot that works safely alongside humans. Heal, a medical cobot for rehab and imaging purposes. And Trocker, India's first assistive robot dog. Unveiled at Lajamat India 2024, the Tracker quadrupedal robot operates autonomously for tasks like facility inspections, patrols, and surveillance. Adverb is positioning the quadruped as competition for leading robotic dogs like Spot by Boston Dynamics, the Go-To by Unitree Robotics, and Animal by Anybotics. 
Humanoid Robotics is becoming a key part of Made in India initiative as the country prepares to shoot its first human-like bot into space. Hello everyone, I am Vyomitra, the prototype of the half-humanoid being made for the first unmanned Gaganyaan mission. And Vyometra will soon become India's first humanoid robot in space. The Indian Space Research Organization developed the robot to simulate human functions and assist astronauts during the Gaganyaan mission. The robot will join the first uncrewed three-day test flight of the Gaganyaan mission, which aims to send Indian astronauts into space. And the launch will happen in 2025. The mission will carry three people to a low Earth orbit. They will stay there for three days. Vyomitra is a half-humanoid with only an upper body. It can talk, issue alerts, and monitor the spacecraft to ensure safety. The robot speaks Hindi and English. The name Vyomitra means friend in the sky, with Vyoma meaning space in Sanskrit. The mission is India's first attempt to send people into space using a spacecraft built entirely in India. During the three-day mission, Vyomitra will be evaluated to see how well it can perform tasks monitor the spacecraft, and interact with systems. The test flight is scheduled for December 2024. So we are hoping that next year end, we should be able to do the crewed mission taking human beings to space, but that will not be the end. We will continue that mission taking human beings up to moon uh, soon, maybe. India's involvement in humanoid robotics dates back to the arts, when a team of undergraduate students from Bits Pilani designed the country's first indigenously built humanoid robot. In 2014, the Asset Training and Research Institute in New Delhi introduced Manav, India's first 3D printed humanoid robot. Sourced entirely from components manufactured in India, designed for educational purposes, the small humanoid robot served as a stepping stone for India's youth to engage with future tech. In 2017, a social robot named Mitra made global headlines at the Global Entrepreneurship Summit in Hyderabad as it greeted Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Ivanka Trump. So GES 2017 was kicked off literally by a robot. Uh, can you tell me the idea about Mitra? Uh, me and my husband, uh, we both moved uh, last year uh, from US and uh, we want to do something very innovative in India. And uh, we uh, had a, we built a small prototype and uh, we did it in a uh, small maker space kind of. And uh, that got a huge recognition and uh, that uh, kicked us uh, off and we got that momentum. And luckily we got a very great team and uh, who worked day and night and uh, here we are uh, in one year. Uh, uh, have a, had a first molded prototype, everything done in our garage uh, in Bangalore. And the startup Invento Robotics designed the robot primarily for industries like retail, hospitality, and banking. Equipped with an integrated camera system, Mitra could recognize faces and provide personalized responses, making it a social butterfly in the robot world. It seems that the Kerala police has a new recruit and that stands apart from its peers. That's because of its, it's a robot. In 2019, KP Bot became India's first humanoid Robocop. Developed in collaboration with the Kerala Police Cyberdome Unit, the robot was equipped with facial recognition tech to identify wanted criminals. For a deeper dive into India's humanoid robotics evolution, check the link in the description. Remember to subscribe to stay up to date as humanoid robots take over the world.